Frequently, these girls are using rideshare. I've gotten texts from the rideshare driver who says, I have your girl and I took her to the gang. They've told me I get more money selling the girl to the gang than I do from doing my rideshare. In one case, the rideshare driver told me I put something in the air that caused her to go to sleep. And the last girl last week, she said, she didn't know where she was or anything. She was out for, she didn't know for how long. She didn't know where they took her to or anything. Uh, we're back with James, who says he has saved many beautiful models from being kidnapped, one of them being Maria. Now, he, he, he says that he's met these women. He means he's met them on the internet. He's not met a single one of them in person. He just gets contacted randomly. Let's learn a little bit more about Maria. This is Maria. She lives in a model house in Santa Ana. Every time she was going to meet, she got taken. It maybe happened five or six times. She was just recently in the camp for two months. She texted me and said she was still there and asked if I could help get her out. I think I gave Maria maybe four or five thousand. Last time I communicated with her was last Wednesday or Thursday. I had to send her fifty more dollars to get gas for her car so she could drive away. As far as I know, she's back home and safe. Well, according to James, y'all been talking for about nine months, right? Yes. Okay. And she worked in a Orange County restaurant. Yes. And you were supposed to get together seven times in Orange County, and she was kidnapped every single time. I'm really curious why you don't just say, I'm not going to schedule a meeting with you because every time I do, the women get kidnapped, and I'm uh, not going to do that to you. I'm a kidnap yeah. magnet. You, yeah. you schedule lunch with me, your ass is going to a camp. <laughs> she was freed from the camp on 111, sent $5,000, and a third of those gift cards are already used, right? They've used them? Yeah. Well, we got her here today. Okay. And she didn't get kidnapped, even though you're here and, and, and she's here. As you might predict, her name is not Maria. Her name is Gianna. And she says her photos were used without permission. Please welcome Gianna. Hi. Uh, Gianna, how are you? Good. Have you ever spoken to James before? I have not. Um, have you been kidnapped seven times trying to meet with James? No, never been kidnapped. Have you received $5,000 in gift cards from him, including one for $50 to make your last escape? No, sir. This is the woman you know as Maria, right? Right. Gianna, what do you want to say to James? Um, I can understand how this would be super frustrating and like kind of hard to deal with because you think that it's real, but um, these types of things happen every single day and you just have to be really careful about who you're trusting and who you're sending money to and who you're communicating with. And have you had your pictures, identity stolen before, or is this the first time you're aware of? Many times. Many times, yeah. And how much money have you sent to the person who has stolen Gianna's identity, do you think? Do you have any idea? Probably somewhere around four or 5,000. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.